3 plus 3. If I were to ask you what 3 plus 3 was, what would you say? The answer is definitely not 6. YOU IDIOTS! It's actually a sophisticated clinical trial that lets us understand how much drug is too much drug. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's not sophisticated? 3 plus 3 refers to a specific clinical trial design. A clinical trial is an experiment where researchers test new medical treatments, such as a new pharmaceutical drug, to see if it's safe and effective. There are many types of clinical trials depending on whether they're trying to prove the safe part or the effective part. The 3 plus 3 design is considered an early phase design because it's what we call a dose finding trial. When a new drug is invented, we don't know a lot about it. We often take for granted that when we open up some Tylenol or a Viagra prescription, years of study and research have been dedicated to figuring out how much drug should be put into a pill. One of the things we need to figure out is what is the largest amount of drug that people can take while controlling how often people experience really bad side effects. This amount is called the maximally tolerated dose, or MTD, and we'll call a bad side effect a toxicity. We want the MTD because we usually assume more drug equals more effectiveness. Yes, science! Here's how 3 plus 3 works. First, we establish a set of doses that we want to test out. Usually, this is done with the Fibonacci sequence, starting with some dose factors in animal studies. Then, we define what a toxicity is. A toxicity could be a serious side effect like a bad headache or vomiting. A person will either get a toxicity or they won't. Then we recruit three people into a cohort and they take the first dose. If no one gets a toxicity, then we progress to the next dose and recruit a new cohort of three people. No toxicities means the next cohort gets a higher dose. Different things can happen when toxicities occur. If two or more people get toxicities, the trial ends. The current dose exceeds the MTD, so the previous dose is declared the MTD. If just one person gets a toxicity, then we actually recruit another cohort of three to take the same dose as the last one. This is why the trial gets its 3 plus 3 name. You can think of this as a last chance cohort. If nobody in the second cohort gets a toxicity, then the trial progresses to the next dose. If even one person in the second cohort gets a toxicity, then that dose is declared the MTD. If two or more people get a toxicity, then the previous dose is declared the MTD. And this algorithm continues until a dose is declared the MTD. And that's 3 plus 3. Its main advantage is its simplicity. And it's important because it's the only advantage that it's got. If 3 seems like a small number to you, then you're right. 3 is chosen largely because it's convenient. It's been well documented that 3 plus 3 trials are inefficient at actually finding a good MTD. The only reason that people use it is because it's simple and it doesn't require a statistical background. Even in 2003, there are still clinical trials using this design, even when there are plenty of better designs out there. But that's another video. This was a video on 3 plus 3. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.